Okay, that was my like fourth attempt to try and start this video. It just wouldn't take. But my name is Mar, and in my uh, video I just filmed, but it will be on two days before this one, maybe or three days. I don't know. I don't know how I do this. But I did say I was going to show you guys like majority, not all of them, just the majority of the pots I have I, that I have not tried on video. And so. I'm like, let me move one aside that I realized was not a palette. It's a liner palette, but I still show it. But these are the ones that I have that I'm wanting to know if you guys are interested in me making an actual video about. If not, then, you know, they'll go up whenever. But this will show me which one has priority. You can either comment, message me, whatever it is. Leave a timestamp on whatever you want on it. I will try to make a list of all the palettes in order as I show them. And I will try not to take up too much of your time. But there is a few. There's quite a few, actually. But, let's begin. Some of these are old, so that's fine. You know, you know. This one's the main squeeze from ColourPop. I will show you, well, I'll try, at least I'll try to show you what they look like quickly. But, it's the main squeeze, and I believe it's like a reddish tone one. It comes in this. And, yeah, it's red. It's red. I just haven't gotten to play with it yet. Or use it. Any of that. So I have this. I also have the vault. The colors. Different color monochromatic palettes. So there's that one. We have this one from Pop Cosmetics. No, Pop Beauty. And this one's this light show. So this is what the photo looks like on the palette, right? On the outside. I might, let me show you what the inside looks like. It's, it's not what the packaging shows. <clears throat> this is what it actually looks like. Okay. And this Pop Co um, Beauty I found at my local CVS. Well, the CVS is the town over, but still local CVS. And if you've seen it and you've been iffy about buying it, um, and you want someone to try it on first, then I could do that for you. And we also have Beauty Creations right here. Let me try to show you those. The ones that they came out with, like the pink, a yellowish green, and the orange kind of neon palettes going on. There's those. If you're interested, let me know. I can do a review on those. Specifically, okay, let me give you the color. Specific. Just say pink, yellow, orange. And I'll know which one you specifically want me to try. I'm like, I know there was another one by that brand. Somewhere in this giant pile. And then there's more color pop right here. It's only three, though, of the Animal Crossing. The green one, the purple, and then a blush. So, there's those. I didn't really want to buy all of them because I'm, I'm not a big fan of um animal crossing i don't really play so i didn't feel like it'd be right of me to try to get them and then there's lorella's cosmetics their christmas collection which i believe they still have up at the moment but here's the green one i dropped the plastic ah, so when i do that video if, if you guys request it it's not gonna have it because <clears throat> it fell and then we have the blue one let me put this this these are all very cool colors from what i'm seeing in these palettes winter wishes and then we have a red one this is the one that caught my attention but then i saw that they had them all so i ordered them all anyway it's very pretty this one's the one that caught my attention tis the season and they came with liners i ordered the liners as well uh, there, i think there was a red and black and then a green and white and I got the green and white because I didn't, I feel like I didn't have these. So there's those. We're going to go next with Hank and Henry. I had to order this one. It looks so pretty. Berries. Like, it looks so pretty. Like, oh. So there's that palette. My, I'm trying to get some engagement because I, I want to make content you guys like or at least find helpful. Okay, so next we're going to go with Violet Voss, because there's three of them right in front of me at the moment. And this one I got from Ipsy. Violet Voss, the eye pinky promise. It literally says eyes. Like eye. And uh, this one looks like this. I did not get the All of You Forever, okay? I did not. No. There's too many nudes in that one. <laughs> I say that as I open this, and it's mainly nudes. But yes. There's this one, and I dropped the box, so I will... I need to get the box so I can keep these palettes in order. For me to make this list. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. And then the next one I'm going to show you is the Vilevas tie-dye for. Tie-dye. And I heard a lot of people are like, nobody asked for that palette. We're over the rainbow thing. I'm never over the rainbows, okay? Keep the rainbows coming. Like, look at that. Would you look at that? So that one's very pretty. That one, is, I definitely need to do a look with that one. That one's just, oh. Oh! So we have that. And then we have the I Love You Cherry from Violet Voss as well. I'm trying to open it right now. The struggle. The struggle is real. I lost my little nail file and I don't know where it went. Okay, I lied. I found it. I found it quite quickly. It's still, it's tightly packed. I'm trying to show you guys what they can look like. So if you're interested or if you've heard of them, you can have a point of reference at least in like what they look like in real life and not just the photos or the packaging because the packaging lies <clears throat> and it's this pretty little thing right here so it's it's very warm tone leaning almost neutral but it's very berry pinks reds very nice I, I couldn't help but want it I couldn't help it when I saw it I was like I need it <clears throat> And it is different from the Sakura palette, so I will mention that if I make the video over this, if I can't get, if I can get this open. I don't know if I did the Sakura palette video. I don't think I put it up. You like my airheadedness? I just go all over the place with my thoughts. Okay, so now I'm struggling to close it again. Closed. Closed. And then randomly we have a cute beauty palette from... Heat of Beauty. We have the retrograde palette, like this. And I'm just not looking at the time, and I'm realizing the time is getting late. But this is the one it looks like right here. I have swatched a couple of these because I just couldn't help myself. But I haven't actually used it. So if you want to see that one, let me know because it's still um, still for sale. Still up out there. Then we have Random Natasha Denona Tropic palette. Like this, like this, the only bright shades are the ones down here and everything else is a nude one. So I was like, is it really worth it? I haven't tested it, so I don't know why am I like this. Uh, I need to check that message because it could be Dustin with saying my food isn't there. Because I have to go in at work at 1.30 and it's like 12.40 right now, you guys, so... So here it is, another Natasha Denona palette. I'm trying to open it. So these are hard to open. <laughs> but here we go. Love palette. Oh, this is also very pretty. Look at it. Very pretty. So I think these are all from like Valentine's? Valentine's Day? I know the love palette I think was last year though. February last year. <clears throat> and then we have a well song. I know I've mentioned this one in another video. Uh, and then we have a color pop again, the So Jaded palette. I didn't show the well song video um, palette because it is a blue palette, kind of bluish, but I showed it in another video. Well, I'm like, let me go back to it. Let me. I've showed the other ones. I sh I need to show this one too. I think this one I dug my nail into an accident. No, it was the other one. So that's the Well Sung palette. If that's your color scheme, let me know. I can totally do a video for you on that. <clears throat> and now we can do the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. That's a big palette. Okay, this is a 30 pan palette. Okay, there's a lot if I do a review on that one. There is, uh, that would probably take like two or three looks to even get a very good um, judgment on that one. It should be fine. I don't mind doing two or three looks. So this is one of our bigger palettes. And then we go again. Okay, so Alter Ego, the Aurora palette, it did, Alter Ego is known for making um, dupes for the Natasha Denona palettes. So I got curious. <clears throat> so we're opening it up. Looks like this. Oh, it's very pretty. Look at that. Ah! See? 
Very pretty. Awesome. I really want to try this one out. I just got to find the time. That's it. I just got to find the time, you guys. To sit down and do these videos. Not even just the videos. Like, just do my makeup. Ooh, my makeup is also good. The Artemis palette, also from Alter Ego. Ten minutes of nothing but unused palettes. And this one, you can tell which one. Which Natasha did on a palette. This one's trying to mimic but this one's so pretty i i yeah yeah that one's so pretty i don't want to touch it just for the sole fact that i want to keep it like pristine condition can't happen though and then i have the random color pop one the rainbow palette that they have all the time on their website it's like this it's a magnetic palette mine for some reason like do you see this bend in mine like i don't know why it's doing that and then we have some a random brand, Mora, Mara. I've used one of her palettes, I think, not yet. But this one's the Dreamscape, and it's so pretty. I don't know why I haven't tried it yet. I need to go for it. But there's that pretty rainbow palette. And then we have a Nomad Cosmetics palette. This one's also like the sunset kind of looking thing. And it's also very pretty. Cute. Cute little designs in there too. There's that. And keep in mind, these are just the ones that I thought were worth mentioning. Or not worth mentioning. These are just the ones that were nearby that I could grab that I haven't used. And I'm, I can make a video with right quick to show you guys what the options are that I can show you. So there's Winky, Winky Lux as well. There's this one. I think this is also a rainbow palette that I saw. So I had to get this one ran me like $20, which I'm like, it's kind of steep. But it's, it's so cute. It's got like kittens on it. There's a gray and black one that I, I, I didn't see at the store. I found this at Target. So that's what that looks like. That one's so pretty. So cute. I, I need to order the gray and black one. <laughs> right? I need to. Need. Okay. Mar. Now that I'm done chastising myself. Let me show you another one. This one's Beauty Bay. Okay. So Beauty Bay, you know, has their own little makeup section now. They do their own makeup. They were selling makeup. So this is the new romantic one. <sighs> Look at this one. It's just, it's, it's lovely. I'm like, can I show you guys correctly how pretty that one is? Like, they're just all so pretty. Can't get over it. <clears throat> I don't think Dustin realized I had to go to work at 1.30. Because he's coming home at like 1, I think. And then it's going to leave me like 15 minutes to try to eat the food that he's bringing me. Kindly bringing me. But next up we have Nikita Dragon with Morphe. I ordered this because my friend, YouTube friend. I cannot recall her name at the moment. I'm like, I, I am horrible with names, like, I watch her all the time, and I just, boop. but she did a video with this one, and the look she came up with just blew me away, so I had to order it, and that happened, um, as we spoke, like, I'm being super gentle, the whole shadow itself fell out, I, the metal pan it was pressed into still in the palette. Look right there. The metal pan's still in there. Putting it back in. Putting it back in there. So, yes. She did a look with it, but it was so pretty, so wonderful that I really felt like I had to order this palette. And then that shade just like decided to fall out of its pan. It's pretty. It's a pretty shade. I hope it stays in there now that I repressed it in. <laughs> ah! Don't you love it when you're like, oh yay, let me show you this this wonderful thing and it just falls apart in your hand. Wonderful. See, I even still had the bubble thing, so I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. <clears throat> and I shake you guys. I, 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 I don't do it on purpose, I promise. 
So, there's all of that. He thought I was done. I'm not. Another Beauty Bay. This one is the Sunset Horizons. This one also looked really pretty. For some reason, this one keeps making me think of another palette, and I don't know which one. I can't. I thought first I thought it was a sh um, Shop Miss A palette, but it's different. But it's this one's pretty. Like, look at that. I can't even be mad if it reminds me of another palette because it's just so pretty. <clears throat> I don't have the other palette, so I guess it's fine. So putting that one up. And then I'm going to show you this one that I'm very interested in. The Blends. This is from um, Blend Bunny Cosmetics. She just started up and I found her on Twitter. And I ordered it. And it was like same day shipping. Like as soon as the order went in, she shipped it out. It was amazing. It was fast. And I've only heard good things about it. And it is it is a matte, matte, matte palette. And it's very lovely. Very nicely set and everything. So there's this one. The shades are wonderful i like it i'm looking at it now and i was like the blues are a bit different there's not an actual like bright blue in here but that's fine because we have that one and we have this kind of green right here so it's leaning more dark and from her hints she's already working on our second palette so we're we have that to look forward to but that is one that i'm interested in using and we have the feral palette from Menagerie as well. This one's the one I dug my nail into on accident. It, it, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's this one. The packaging on these are beautiful by themselves. Like, the packaging itself will win you over. And... I never thought it'd be 16 minutes worth of stuff. We have another Moira, Moira, Moira palette. This one's also very cute, very pretty. It's almost a rainbowy palette too. We have that one. Setting it aside. We have the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. But everyone knows Juvia's Place. So I'm like, do I really need to do a review on Juvia's Place though? <clears throat> if it's not new. Maybe. Maybe not. But, yes. We have a lot. But, either way. Let me know. I will try to make the list. Comment down below if there's any of those that you want to see. If there's a different palette that popped into your head as I was going through the list, go ahead and comment that one. There's good possibility I have it. Very good possibility. But, yeah, this was just one of those informative videos. You might not watch it. You might. You might be curious as to see what part of my collection looks like. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!